So if it wasn't for Samsung, phone makers could have been figuring out ways to incorporate a 108 megapixel camera sensor into a smartphone and the year 2020 might not see a day where attempts actually work. These camera modules require a lot of efforts and resources to be in their best shape and to ensure they would perfectly fit a real world device. Because they are one of those complex pieces of tech that require space but it still has to be a part of mobile device. Samsung must produce this sensor for Xiaomi and the Galaxy S20 and right at this point when we thought this is it, the 108 megapixel is the peak point, rumors started flowing around the internet and we came to know that there's a 150 megapixel isocell sensor in making and believe me shockwaves are something you experience when you go through this article. Samsung is working on a 600 megapixel camera sensor. Pretty much obsessed with numbers especially when it comes to isocell don't you think? Because in an official editorial of their own website, Samsung says that they are finding out ways to develop a camera sensor that capture more details than the human eye. Yongin Park, who's the head of sensor business team at Samsung revealed that a human eye has a resolution of around 500 megapixel, so they are working on a 600 megapixel sensor that would help our devices perceive the world in a way like we do through our eyes. This component could be used on a drone, vehicles and of course smartphones. Now it may sound like an easy task at first, but it's actually not. Even for Samsung, they cannot simply put as many as pixels together into a sensor because then it wouldn't be in a compact form and ultimately take over the entirety of the device. In simple words, the sensors we are talking about should be as compact as possible, but then again, there's a barrier that Samsung needs to overcome. You see if the company somehow puts all the pixels together in a compact form, the pictures that we'll get as a result would be dull and fuzzy. Obviously because smaller pixels will not receive enough light information, there should always be a balance between number of pixels a sensor has and the size of pixels to not compromise with brightness and details. Now this is not the first time when they are facing a challenge like this. With 108 megapixel image sensor, they had to overcome this problem and for it to happen, they implemented Nona Cell technology which in simple words increases the amount of light absorption pixels are capable of. The Nona Cell technology uses a 3 into 3 pixel structure compared to 2 into 2 array of the previous Tetra Cell technology. In the former one, a certain number of smaller pixels work as a single larger pixel, so low light picture quality is also enhanced. The company has always developed pixels with reduced size, but it has never been a challenge for them to overcome a barrier that does not allow a smartphone to take better pictures. They are even working on sensors that detect light outside the visible range, so it will be helpful in many ways. For example, UV light perception can be used for diagnosing skin cancer by capturing pictures of skin cells and cancerous cells in different colors. Then infrared image sensors can be used in different industries and if you are worried about macro shots, the company believes that they would be able to detect microbes through a sensor like this. Additionally, they want to go beyond human senses by developing sensors that can register smells or tastes. Now, more importantly, these sensors are not going to enter production line for at least 2 or 3 years because they are not easy to incorporate, still in making and smartphone processors cannot operate it right now. The Snapdragon 865 which is top of the line by the way can only support up to 200 megapixel image sensor so before mass producing this component, companies have to produce a processor capable to work with it. That said, I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace.